And this is what we call the loop. Hyperpose, Echo, and Savant have, we believe, big potential. And so, yes, it's important to feed them good data. This is my five minute going away present to anyone pushing animations to realism using motion capture. Loop is the ultimate mocap scheme you can employ right now, replacing dysfunctional dance cards. To get this out of the way, I believe short clips have low return of investment from mocap by design. Loop will be useful for such systems, but to a lesser extent. But systems like hyperpose or motion matching do need tons of versatile data. Decade ago, during development of motion matching at Ubisoft, we rushed the choice to draw arbitrary paths for the mocap actor to follow. We called it dance cards and misled many good people and to an extent undermined motion matching itself. We threw data at the problem. No good metric was presented to capture the missing pieces, let alone identify them, and 80% of the captured data was redundant. On top of that, there is not nearly enough useful variations, which forces constant bad blends. I knew of the problem and possible solutions, but I, I prioritized other things in what I sold down. So let me correct that mistake now. To capture most variety in least time, let's reference real life human trajectories. A good solution must recreate such curves and angles, be vast but human friendly, and be scalable by design. I want to stress that the logic here is straightforward and I see no room for deviation or a different solution. Let me take you through it. The human curves and angles can be represented in this way. If we scale and connect the curves, we get a path for actor to follow. There are multiple ways to fit the curve for studio, but these examples are ambiguous and not scalable. It's also best to keep motions in the center of the stage and nothing beats convexity of a circle. But as we increase fidelity of micro steps, we also increase wasted space. This points to a flaw in the layout. The only way to mitigate this is to loop the path around and have fixed evenly spaced points for actor to walk to. If the number of such edges is power of two number, we can build a path that visits each edge and only once. Let's show the same looping path broken by segments and transform it into a single edge coordinate frame. See, loop solves for all these turns, just wraps them in a continuous way. We capture walk with 15 turns under 40 seconds. I've scribbled some math on a napkin factoring in the curvature and travel time and concluded that the best radius for loop is at least two meters. The order of events is simple. Actor starts at zero and navigates to edges one by one. To drive this, we introduce onstage directors. Their job is to call actor to edges of loop. We've had most success with three directors, but also sold for two or four. We've had two mocap sessions using loop with Activision Central Capture team, and for both, we taped the stage, did a 15 minute rehearsal, and showed loop on the stage screen. The routine is easy to learn. In a loop, actor can move in straight lines or curves and do different things at edges. For walls, we fold loop on itself. For props, we put the prop in the middle, and we capture 16 ways in and 16 ways out of any prop per prop in two minutes. The mocap shot list is a product of a formula which describes combos of modifications we want. Not all of these are mandatory and you can add your own. Action stands for the concept of motion, such as idols, locomotions, props, rolls, crouch, carry, speech, or dance. Type includes the specific way loop is used, center loop, walls, props. We then add modes, stay on spot, step to target, nudge, walk, and so on. Corner stands for interaction at loop edge, such as stop to idle, do a plant and turn, or smooth turns. We also do takes achieving edges facing inside or outside loop, or north, south, west, east, getting multiple walk to stop results. Directions of movement are different from facing to strafe you walk north while facing west. And finally, for asymmetrical captures, we have actor complete each segment with left or right foot forward or alternate. If capturing for state machines, you might choose a target pose to achieve at each corner that matches your pose library. That allows you to capture all degree turns in one go. Statistics wise, with loop, we double or triple the amount of useful data per unit of time. This means things that usually would take a week can be done in just two days with more utility. Granted, all mocap sessions are different and a completely correct comparison is impossible. We can also reason about the path. Dense cards require a huge footprint and often get in a dead zone of multiple cameras. They mostly capture movement forward with very few turns. The redundancy suggests that dense cards result in only 20% of the data being useful and loop doubles that. The term entropy is used loosely here to show we double or triple motion versatility with loop. As of today, the video game industry is not using motion capture as much as it should, in part because the current capture process is so ineffective, expensive, and tedious. 
We have shown that Loop provides roughly double the utility of studio time, half of the redundancy, and several times more versatility. And Small Footprint allows you to use Loop with Kinect in your living room. We claim that Loop tracks better on every metric we could come up with, and we hope that this work helps you capture smarter, better, and faster. As a wrap for the whole omnibus today, may I ask you to raise your hand if you've been here for all four talks? Wow, okay. Thank you so much. I hope it was worth it. We are allowed to linger here for extended Q&A and definitely happy to continue conversations throughout the event. There will be multiple follow-ups on social channels, etc. not because we're showing off, because we are actively, violently hiring. <laughs> I want to thank my partner, Mehdi Faraktala, um, our central animation tech team, senior director, Jason Greenberg, and senior VP, Steve Pierce, uh, and Activision Blizzard King in general for providing us with means and purpose. And thank you, Seagraph, specifically Chair Susan Reisner, Reisner, I apologize, for providing us with the platform to share what we believe is worth sharing. And thank all of you for your attention.